Pac-Man is easily one of the most popular arcade titles ever made. Unfortunately, when it first came home on the Atari 2600, that port left quite a bit to be desired. However, since the game was so ridiculously popular and the premise was so simple, a lot of companies jumped on board trying to put their own spin on it, and we saw a lot of Pac-Man clones and knockoffs in the second and third generations of gaming. This list is going to be made up of games that I find are rather interesting that take the premise of Pac-Man, and some may copy it outright, others do put their own spin on things to try to make it more interesting. I'm not going to be including the Pac-Man sequels, of course. While some of them are excellent games, really, there are far more interesting or stranger titles out there. Also, since I did a full review of Jawbreaker, I won't be including it on this list, even though it is one of my favorites. If you have not seen that video, you can do so by clicking right up here. And without further ado, let's get into this list. Number 5 is Alien. 20th Century Fox put out a handful of titles on the Atari 2600 in the 1980s that were based on films. While some of them were pretty creative, this one copies Pac-Man by putting Ripley in a maze with xenomorphs and a flamethrower. While that might sound kind of cool, it's really primitive and it falls short compared to a number of other clones you'll find on the 2600. Number 4 is Mousetrap. In this early Pac-Man clone by XV, you play as a mouse being chased by cats. You have the ability to manipulate the maze to your advantage, but what's more interesting is your power-up. You pick up a bone and then can transform from a mouse into a dog and take the chase right back to the cats. This is probably the most blatant ripoff you'll find on this list. Number 3 is Lock and Chase. Released in the arcades by Taito and Data East in 1981, Lock and Chase was brought to the Atari 2600 and the Intellivision by Mattel Electronics. 2600 version of course being under the M Network banner. This is a game of cops and robbers that has traps and an exit for your escape. It's more of a curiosity than anything else now, but it was one of the very first Pac-Man knockoffs you'll find. Number two is Fantasy Zone The Maze. While Fantasy Zone was best known for being perhaps one of the very first so-called cute-em-up games, Sega took a departure from that and dropped Upa Opa into a maze for this outing. Instead of power-ups, Upa Opa collects coins and purchases weapons so you can shoot at the enemies trying to chase you. Certainly one of the more interesting clones you'll find out there. Number one is Devil World. Even Nintendo tried their hand at a Pac-Man style maze game. Here you control a little dragon picking up crosses to fend off demons. Which might sound like a pretty straightforward clone, but keeping you on your toes is the devil himself. Standing atop the playfield, shifting the maze, so you don't just have to avoid the demons, you have to also avoid getting crushed by the maze. This game was an early Famicom release that never made it to the NES because Nintendo of America had strict rules against religious themes and imagery. Hmm, go figure. As you can see, a lot of companies tried to ride the coattails of Namco, and when you think about it, it's not all that much of a surprise with how popular and iconic Pac-Man was. Hope you've enjoyed this top five. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. If you like what you see, feel free to check me out on social media, otherwise you can subscribe to this channel. I do new videos every Friday, sometimes on Wednesdays too. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care.